On September 28, 2025, China inaugurated the world's tallest bridge. The Huajiang Canyon Bridge soars 625 meters above the Beipan River, nearly twice as high as the Eiffel Tower. But this wasn't just infrastructure. Before construction even began, officials demanded something unprecedented. Integrate a theme park into the bridge itself. Glass elevators rising 207 meters, cafes hanging 800 meters above the canyon floor, and on top of that, the world's highest bungee jump. The problem? This had never been attempted. No bridge in history was designed with tourism dictating its structure. The Huajiang Canyon Bridge became a game changer for China, helping to conquer one of the toughest natural barriers in the region, Guizhou's rugged karst terrain. This area is known for its jaw-dropping landscapes, but it's also famous for its treacherous limestone peaks, deep valleys, and hidden underground rivers. One of the standout features under the bridge is Beipan River Canyon, which drops more than 1,970 feet, 600 meters, creating a massive divide between the two sides. Before the bridge, locals in Zhenfeng County had to take a 70-minute journey just across the canyon. This made daily travel and trade incredibly slow and costly. The isolation created by the canyon had a severe impact on the local economy, forcing many young people to leave for the cities in search of better job prospects. This decline in population made the situation for this already suffering county even worse. Faced with these challenges, the regional government had a tough choice. Build a long and expensive detour around the canyon, or take a bold step and build a bridge that would redefine the region's future. But they didn't just want to connect two sides of a canyon. From the very beginning, officials saw an opportunity. The world's tallest bridge could become more than infrastructure. It could be the economic catalyst the county desperately needed. As the planning process evolved, the bridge's design shifted to incorporate tourism features, turning it into a unique blend of infrastructure and entertainment. This was China's first major effort to combine a bridge with tourism, setting it apart from other iconic structures like the Golden Gate Bridge or France's Milau Viaduct, which were primarily built for transportation. Today, the bridge offers a range of attractions that make it feel more like a theme park than a typical bridge. A 207-meter glass elevator built into one of the towers offering stunning views. A cafe sitting 800 meters above the canyon with glass walkways and viewing platforms that let visitors look straight down into the steep drop below. And of course, the main attraction, the world's highest bungee jump, which will soon be available at the world's highest bridge. The bridge also has over 18 different business outlets from food and shopping to thrill rides, transforming it into a mini theme park. Initially, the bridge was only designed to support highway traffic with a 7.5 meter deep truss, but with all the additional tourism features, the design had to be reworked. The truss depth was increased to 8 meters to ensure it could safely handle the extra weight. One of the bridge towers had to be structurally modified to accommodate the 207-meter glass elevator shaft running through it. The cafe platform required engineering as a cantilevered structure extending from the main deck. Even the glass walkways needed their own specialized anchoring systems to support tourists leaning out over the void. While these changes might not sound dramatic in engineering terms, they were massive. Thousands of additional tons of steel, months of extra work, complex load-bearing calculations that had never been attempted on a bridge before. The final price tag, 2.1 billion yuan, or around $280 million. This bridge marks the first time that tourism has directly shaped the entire design of a major construction project. Building the Huajiang Canyon Bridge was no easy feat. In fact, it was nearly an impossible task, especially when it came to handling extreme weather conditions. The bridge stands in an area where canyon winds can reach extreme speeds, and with glass being used in the structure for walkways, elevators, and platforms, the design had to be flawless. To deal with the intense winds, engineers came up with a solution, solar-powered wireless anemometers. These devices measure wind speed and direction remotely, ensuring the bridge can withstand whatever nature throws at it. Coupled with 21 patents for wind resistance mechanisms, the bridge remains secure even in the most stormy conditions, without ever needing to shut down for safety. Another major challenge involved the terrain. Beneath the canyon lies karst limestone, 
known for its softness and network of caves and crevices. As the construction progressed, the engineers ran into problems when they reached hollow spaces beneath the surface. Finding a solid rock foundation became difficult, so the team developed an asymmetrical anchorage system to shift the load-bearing points and avoid the unstable zones. The next major hurdle was incorporating the tourism features, such as the 207-meter glass elevator. The design had to be perfect, as even the smallest mistake could have been disastrous. Workers had to weld the cafe platform directly to the bridge before conducting load testing, risking their lives in the process, as they were unsure if the structure could withstand the weight. The assembly process itself represented a feat of coordination that had never been attempted at this scale. The bridge's main steel structure consisted of 93 massive truss segments, each weighing around 473,000 pounds, which had to be lifted and positioned with absolute precision at heights where even minor wind gusts could spell disaster. To accomplish this, engineers deployed a smart cable crane system equipped with China's Beidou Satellite Navigation System. More than 30 high-definition cameras and numerous sensors provided real-time data throughout each lift, ensuring that every massive steel segment aligned perfectly with its neighbors. Construction officially began on January 18, 2022, and by April 21, 2023, the first tower had already reached 199 meters in height, with work on the upper transverse beam underway. By early November 2024, the first steel truss segment was successfully lifted into place, and by January 17, 2025, the final segment completed the structural closure of the main span. The entire construction timeline from groundbreaking to opening day spanned just three years and eight months. Then, there were the smart sensor cables embedded with fiber optic technology. These cutting-edge systems set new standards for real-time bridge monitoring tracking stress and movement to ensure structural integrity. The final price tag, 2.1 billion yuan, approximately $280 million. Remarkably, this represents exceptional value. Recent bridge projects in Western countries typically cost three to 20 times more per kilometer. The Huajiang Canyon Bridge proved that building the world's tallest bridge with integrated tourism features didn't require a big size budget, just execution speed and efficiency. The world's tallest bridge is an engineering marvel in every sense. But the scale doesn't end with its height of 625 meters. This bridge also spans an astounding 2.9 kilometers in length, with a main span of 1,420 meters. It's one of only a handful of bridges worldwide designed across such deep, dramatic canyons. Building something of this magnitude wasn't easy. Engineers used over 22,000 metric tons of steel, more than three times the weight of the Eiffel Tower itself. With all that steel, each of the bridge's towers reaches impressive heights of 262 meters and 205 meters. Of course, building something like that doesn't come cheap, but taking this risk truly made China the trendsetter in the modern world. Now, let's take a look at what makes this bridge's design so unique. For starters, its cables aren't your average cables. They're embedded with fiber optic sensors that track stress and movement in real time. Additionally, the asymmetrical anchorage system was specially designed to accommodate the karst geology underneath. As these underground cave networks and uneven rock formations can pose a complex challenge. This was no easy task, but the engineers tackled it by making adjustments like increasing the truss depth to eight meters to handle both traffic and tourism. Technically speaking, the Huajiang Canyon Bridge is a masterpiece. And from an aesthetic point of view, it's just as impressive. The design is influenced by Art Deco principles, much like the Golden Gate Bridge, balancing elegance with strength. One of the most fascinating moments of the construction came in late August 2025, when it was put through a series of intense tests. The engineers went beyond the typical bridge evaluations. They went all out to simulate the bridge's dual role, both as a transportation link and as a tourist attraction. During the tests, a whopping 96 trucks, weighing a combined total of 3,360 metric tons, drove across the bridge, all while over 200 people occupied the glass walkways, elevator, cafe, and bungee jump platforms. This created a real-world scenario, giving engineers a clear picture of how the bridge would perform, 
under both heavy traffic and heavy tourism activity. The whole process was closely monitored with 400 sensors embedded throughout the bridge, providing real-time data on its performance. The test results confirmed that widening the truss depth to 26 feet was the right decision. Allowing the bridge to stay solid and stable under such immense loads. And one week before the bridge's official opening, on September 21, 2025, the Huajiang Canyon Bridge made headlines by hosting the world's highest bridge triathlon. Nearly 200 athletes from more than 20 countries came together to compete in a grueling race that spanned the bridge's various features, putting its dual-purpose design to the test in a high-energy event. The bridge then officially opened to traffic on September 28th marking a historic moment for the region. During its first holiday week alone, the bridge saw over 100,000 visitors, and those numbers are expected to keep growing. What was once an isolated region is now bustling with tourism, offering fresh opportunities for the younger generation and boosting the local economy. Hope you enjoyed today's mega build story. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.